And you know the number one leading thing that's leading me to all of this? It's the fact of having to lie to people that meet me for the first time. When they want to sit there and, oh, it must be nice to be able to go and swim in the pool. Honestly, I wouldn't know. I try to stay away from people that have acted against my life. And they can sit there and laugh about it all they want. Truth be told, they threatened my life, and I didn't do anything. Yet they sit here and call me a monster. So, in all fairness, I'm done lying to people. And if it offends you, well, then maybe you should look at that. And if what I say upsets you, or what I have to say about how you've treated me upsets you, then maybe you should really think about that. Because when people ask me how much fun it is to go on some of these things, or go in the pool, or the hot tub, or I still get to sit here and say, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun. I try my best not to step foot on their driveway, let alone thinking that I'm even welcome to go into a pool. So... Which is great because the amount of times that people could use those times to actually get to know me and actually meet me and actually talk to me and ask any questions that they freaking want. Nope. It's just more important for me to understand that they don't like me. Or at least that's what they portray. And in all fairness, I don't give a shit anymore. So when people start asking me things, when people want to sit there and ask me how much fun it is, I'm going to tell them. I don't know. They decided to side with baby daddy and call me a liar before even asking me a single question. So they took somebody else's background, crimes that somebody else committed, and because we share a name. That's enough for these people to just treat me... Well, if I was black, let's put it this way, everybody would pretty much assume that they're really racist. And it wouldn't be a question of why they don't want me around. That's the ironic thing. For white people, what they really need to focus on is, is would they treat a person of color or gay or lesbian? Would you treat them the same way? Would you send people to their home and then not apologize for it, but call them a monster? Would you sit here and call somebody a liar before ever getting to know them and using somebody else's record? If you can't do that with a black person, or gay or lesbian, then you shouldn't be fucking doing it. 
if the way you're treating somebody would be seen obtrusely as racist, then maybe you should stop just doing it. That That's called being a bad fucking person. And I've spent quite a long time thinking I was a bad person to know that I'm not. And to know what bad people look like. So in the end, why? You want to use everything that happened to me as a child? As a reason why I'm not good enough. Or is it just because I came from podunk poverty? Is it because my mom and I shared the same clothes? For quite a while due to the fact that she couldn't afford clothes for me? Is it everything that she allowed her boyfriends to do? Is it the fact that she gave me up? So if my own mother gave up on me, why would you guys authorize me to be with your daughter? You guys have spent a year trying to beat it into my head and your girlfriend's head that I'm not worth the air that I breathe. And yet you guys call me a monster. You guys sit here and show and prove that getting your hair done a hundred times more important than somebody else's health. That your own agenda is more important than your own daughter. That your own opinion is more important than the abuse that you're putting on your granddaughter. All for what? For me to realize that I'm a waste of space? You're too late. Your daughter is actually trying to help me not think that. So, but I'm done lying. I'm done having everybody around here think that you're on some fucking pedestal while you treat people beneath you. Well, Obviously, it isn't the first time you've treated somebody like this. I don't know. Obviously, after 365 days of this, you just get tired of lying to people. So, yeah, from now on, when people ask me, I'm going to tell them the truth. When people ask me how you guys are doing, I'm going to tell them the truth. They chose sides. They didn't choose their granddaughter. They didn't even choose their daughter. They chose the ex that cheated, manipulated... And tried to do countless other things in this last year. And they've helped him. So. I'm done trying to please people that want me dead. And if it's not true. 
Well, your actions speak louder than your words. So, maybe you should start acting different. Because you keep calling me a monster? Well, you're doing demonic shit. <laughs>